So, you're skinny. You lack the confidence to be successful in life. You can't twist the lid off a pickle jar, and you look like a broomstick with a layer of skin slapped on it. Well, good news. You can change. What is up, brothers and sisters of the Chapel of Gains? It's your boy, Jacob, the hard gainer trainer, bringing you some more awesome knowledge. Today, in this video, I'm gonna give you three tips on how to build muscle if you're a hard gainer, if you're one of them skinny girls or guys. Let's get it. I used to be a skinny dude myself. I had low confidence and I had no direction in life. But thanks to weight training, all of that changed. I started doing my research on both training and nutrition and my body grew and so did my confidence. Tip number one, if you feel full, get ready to eat some more. I was hitting the gym hard for about four months, and I got really, really strong, but I'd seen no changes in my body. I had no muscle, and I was barely juicy. So I took a step back. I started doing my research. I found out that I wasn't eating nearly enough food. I was eating about 2,500 calories. In all reality, for my hard gainer ass to actually gain some muscle, I needed to be eating at about 3,500 calories. That's a thousand shorts. I know, crazy math skills, right? So. I started to eat about six meals a day, started tracking my calories and my protein, and I would even go to the extent to going to buffets and seeing how many empty plates I could get stacked up in front of me. I thought about it as training for my stomach to force my body to grow. As a hard gainer who isn't seeing any sort of weight gain, I almost guarantee that you're not eating enough calories. So hold in that gag reflex and prepare to ingest some more calories. Tip number two, grab a barbell and do some heavy compound lifts. I see so many people getting hung up in the cable machines. You know, doing the bodybuilding exercises because it's what all the pro bodybuilders do. Well, guess what? Those aren't gonna be the things that get you jacked. The guys that are doing these exercises are at an advanced level, they're probably genetically gifted, and they don't know shit about real gains for the hard gainer. Compound lifts are great for three reasons, and they should be a staple in your programming for these three reasons. Reason number one, they allow you to maximally overload the muscles you are trying to work. Reason number two, they work more than just one muscle. And reason number three, because they are so maximally overloading and they work more than just one muscle, they are a great time investment. I contribute 80% of my success to building muscle to heavy barbell training. If you're a beginner, start with the deadlift, squat, bench press, and overhead press. Just remember, form, form, form. If you do a partial range of motion like a quarter squat because you want to stack on all the plates in the entire gym just to gratify your ego, or you're doing really, really terrible form like the cat back deadlift, then you're not gonna be getting the most out of these exercises and you could potentially injure yourself and make yourself look like a fool. Tip number three, which is trace in Spanish. Now I lay me down to sleep. Rest. As a hard gainer, your small little tiny bone structure has a hard time handling stress. So you're going to need to put extra emphasis into recovery. This means getting those eight hours and getting the most out of your off days. As a beginner, I always recommend starting out with at least three rest days. That means work out Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, rest Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. And for all you party animals out there, you're gonna have to sacrifice some of the nights on the town. I mean, after all, if you wanna reach the throne of gains, you're gonna have to sacrifice the bright lights and the booze. You will do the majority of your growing in your sleep, so make sure that you're getting them Z's. Being a hard gainer is tough. Trust me, I know, I've been one my whole life. And you can either complain about all the genetically gifted who are way bigger than you, who look way better than you, or you can get 
to work. Yes, you'll have to work twice as hard, you'll have to eat twice as much, and you'll have to make twice as many sacrifices. But guess what? At the end of the day, you know it's worth it. After all, when you can conquer the obstacle of being a hard gainer, it will give you more confidence than the most genetically gifted. Thanks everybody for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. I also just built a new website, so go and check that out. If you want some coaching, fill out an application. We'll see if you're a right fit. Other than that, I will catch you guys next time.